If you watched my previous video, you'll know that I've brought up some concerns that we might not be able to upload a level in Mario Maker 2 without checking that it can be cleared in single player. I showed off a contraption that would be able to detect if the level is being played in single player or multiplayer, essentially allowing a multiplayer puzzle level to be uploaded. However, with the recent gameplay shown at E3, this design has become broken. Apparently items come out of a question mark block one at a time in multiplayer versus, and all at once in co-op. So in this video, I'm going to show you a contraption that works no matter what mode your level is being played in. Let's get into it. So I've got two designs here to show you. The first will be based on the assumption that when a shell hits a question mark block in multiplayer, it will release a number of items equal to the number of players. The second design is under the assumption that this isn't the case, and a question mark block must actually be hit by a player for it to release more than one item. So let's start with design number one. Once the room loads, this shell mitt begins bouncing against this question mark block. If only one mushroom comes out, it will simply bounce off this note block and then disintegrate. So once this bullet bill is out of our way, we can proceed through the door. This door will lead to the single player path, as only one mushroom was released. However, if the room is loaded in multiplayer versus or co-op, things behave differently. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to place an extra mushroom right here just to show you how this works. So the room loads and we can pretend that two mushrooms came out of this block. The first one does the same thing as before. It bounces off the note block, which activates a P-switch, which turns this coin into a block, and this block into a coin. Now when the other mushroom bounces off the note block, this gap is no longer open, so it continues to the right and activates a separate note block, which blows up this bomb, dropping down a launcher. While this can't determine exactly how many players there are, it's a simple way to detect if your level is being played in single player or multiplayer. If it's being played in single player, the launcher doesn't fall, leaving this door accessible. When in multiplayer, the launcher falls, blocking the door and allowing entry into the pipe. These entryways can be altered however you like. You could swap the door and the pipe, have two doors, or even two pipes. Also, this launcher at the start is to prevent a player from running into the single player door right away before the machine has time to do its thing. Now that's all great, but what if a question mark block only releases more than one item when it's directly hit by a player? Well, things get trickier. Still possible, but trickier. Here we have a setup that forces a player to hit this question mark block. They bounce off this note block, into the spring, onto the second note block, and in the process, bop their heads onto this question mark block. If the block only releases one mushroom, it bounces off this note block, activates a P-switch, and blows up this bomb. The P-switch achieves the same effect of the launcher on a track in the last design, forcing the player to wait for the machine to determine the correct path. The bomb simply destroys this coin while the P-switch is active so nobody softlocks themselves here. If more than one mushroom is released, it does essentially the same thing in the previous design. It doesn't get stuck in this gap as the P-switch is active from the first mushroom and activates the second note block which destroys a bomb and drops a launcher. The only problem with this design is that it has a fatal flaw. If you're using this contraption in single player or multiplayer co-op, it will work just fine. However, in multiplayer versus, with items coming out of question mark blocks individually, nothing would stop only one player from going through the contraption, waiting the P-switch timer out, then everyone going through the single player door. The reason this video was released so late was because I can't for the life of me figure out a simple, clean way to fix this potential cheese. Also, neither of these contraptions would work in 3D World given the fact that shelmets and note blocks are both absent. So, I need your help. If you have any ideas for a design that would work in multiplayer versus or 3D world, please let me know in the comments. Hopefully none of this is necessary and Nintendo just allows us to upload multiplayer levels in the first place. Either way, if you'd like more Mario Maker, I've got some videos here. And as always, thanks for watching.